for being here today. And whether you are watching or Zoom or attending in this room, it is an honor to be gathered with you here at what I know will be an experiment in the experience of black thought unlike any other. I would like to thank everyone who helped put this event together, for whom this event would not be possible without. First and foremost, I want to thank my co-partner in crime, my comrade in thought, professionally known as my colleague, <laughs> Roy Sherian, who in response to a long series of nights and graduate seminars in the anthropology department decided to embark on this journey with me toward the invention of the strange idea of a conference. So I wanted to start out with Toni Morrison's um, tenor lectures on speakable things I've spoken because she constantly goes over um, a void may be empty but not, a but not be a vacuum. It's like a neutron activation. It's this very specific type of like chemical analysis that I don't even know. I don't 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 know. Part of the conceptual blackness of the black hole inheres in the singularity and the crises it poses for spatial temporality and for cosmic knowing. The theorists of each panel offer perspectives on each theme from a wide range of disciplinary backgrounds. It all comes back to blackness. Like, it always comes back to blackness. It never doesn't now. They have traveled from history departments, philosophy departments, ethnic studies departments, communications departments. So the third panel of today, uh, titled Unitarian Humanisms, will elaborate on the possibility of a new humanism in the wake of slavery and its afterlives. All right, so on February 18th, 2023, in commemoration of his Audre Lorde-inspired Black History Month hashtag series, A New Spelling of Our Name, uh, Dr. Frank Leon Roberts tweeted this. The fourth panel will, is titled um, Blackness Against the Human, and will interrogate humanism writ large. In that panel, we have Vincent Perez, a doctoral candidate in theater, dance, and performance studies at UC Berkeley, Ignacio Evans, a doctoral candidate in communications at UC San Diego. Right, I'm subtweeting people like, I don't know, Jay-Z, when he goes, you know, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. And then he says, you know, impossible takes a week. We know the line. I don't really have to do the Mike Wright Dyson thing to be like, y'all got me. Right, and to be like, all right, cool. But that instance right there for me, right, holding on to how to be a business, in a place where we sell all of our labor as independent contractors, whether you are adjunct or lecturer, or whether you actually miraculously got tenure, you're still selling your labor. Thus, Roy and I return to Sylvia Winter's conception of a science of a word, which she defines by way of Amy Césaire as, quote, a science defined by the fact that the study of the word would now determine the study of nature. We return to this as an avenue into a larger conversation about the place of blackness within the study of science. By a uh, keynote lecture by Professor Calvin Warren from the philosophy department at Emory University. I think it's time for us to read and reread Hegel's remarks on blackness as a form of calculus. It's a philosophical writing of calculus. So let's just say that if we were to try to find a derivative for, for, for Hegel, the limit is always whiteness. What are the, the quotidian effects? There we go. I'm going to use some pessimism language. What are the quotidian effects um, that this mathematics could impact black life? I see you typing fever in philosophy or theory. What does it do for X? Long discussions about the connections, if any, between Afro-pessimism, Sylvia Winter, black feminist philosophy of science, feminist science studies, secularism, the history of biology, anatomy, neuroscience, and mathematics, foster the ambition to construct a space for a confrontation of ideas, a collision of sorts between radical black studies and a radical study of science. Until we start to actually map or trace different possible connections. So the possibilities start to kind of like build up um, in a particular way between laboratory and playground. <laughs> Not a thought experiment, but an experiment in black thought. Or put differently, in the words of Sylvia Winter, what if, for the next seven hours or so, we thought of this space as a place of intellectual struggle? 
black studies, science studies, a playground, a laboratory, a conference. Okay, so now we have time for questions um, for any of the panelists if you have any. 